I got a drone. What a wonderful What a wonderful world. So yeah, I got a drone uh, and I've wanted a drone for a very long time and I finally got one. So it's it was a really exciting day when it finally came in the mail. Uh, that's the reason why you guys haven't been seeing much of me because I've been doing a lot more projects in order to save up money to buy the drone. So uh, that's something that I wanted to uh, talk to you about is, uh, you know, how to purchase things um, with your, uh, or for your photography. I know that seems pretty vague, but like photography is a really expensive business. It really is. So um, it's important to manage your money and budget correctly in order for you to make those purchases in the beginning. And then once you start getting going, then you start making more money and then uh, you can buy uh, new things, new toys like the drone. So uh, when I started out, I started out with a Canon 70D. Uh, that's what I'm filming with right now. Uh, it worked for me for so long and I absolutely love the camera still to this day. But uh, I knew that in the future, I was gonna want more cameras and more gear and stuff, and I did so much research to figure out exactly uh, what was gonna be the best. So uh, what I did was I told myself that the money that I make with photography is going to go right back into purchasing more stuff uh, for photography. So that's exactly what I did. So in order to make that happen, then obviously you have to have a second job. Like there's. There's no way you're gonna be able to survive by paying your bills and everything that you have, you know, real adult life stuff, and then still be able to save that money and put the money that you make at the beginning of photography back uh, in order to make new purchases. So of course, like I say, uh, or I've said several times, I have a full-time job at Howard Payne University. Uh, and so that's my full-time job, but I also have a wife uh, who, you know, we have that combined income. So a lot of people don't have the luxury of a joint bank account with somebody. Uh, but uh, what's really important is to make sure you do have that other job and you budget your life <laughs> uh, based off of that job and you live by that. And then the money that you make with photography goes right back into photography. Uh, so it all started with just doing small things here and there. So one of the first projects that I ever did was actually for Texas Bank here in Brownwood and also for a local lawyer. Uh, they both actually needed photos for their website. So I actually went to church with both these people, uh, the marketing person from Texas Bank and then the lawyer. So um, that money that I earned from that went in towards buying lighting equipment uh, and a microphone. So I did tons of research to find out, you know, cause if I am working so hard for this money, I'm gonna make sure that I'm buying the right stuff. After that, then Texas Bank hired me to do a couple of commercials uh, that I made for them. A lot of banks say they're community banks. I think what makes us different, what makes us a true community bank, is that we don't just say that, we are that. We're involved in our communities. That money ended up buying me uh, a glide cam, uh, which I had always wanted. I thought that was so cool. So over time, I was able to purchase more and more things. Uh, one project that I did was able to buy me a second camera, the Canon 6D. Uh, I bought a Rokinon lens with that same project, the, that Rokinon 14 millimeter for astrophotography. So, um, you know, there's just been a lot of projects here and there where I've been able to uh, purchase things. Uh, so recently, I have been doing tons of photos of cars for a car lot in Brownwood, which is a, a pretty big car lot. So they have around 15 to 20 cars for me every single week and you know they pay me so much per car to take photos each car gets about 20 to 28 photos somewhere around there so uh it's a good amount of photos so far i have taken about 2000 something photos for this car lot uh, but that was a lot of working after work uh, and working on the weekends and then also i just started doing some real estate photography uh, so those two things, uh, you know, that took a lot of time to do that. Uh, I also took on a few more photo or family photo sessions. And really, I've just been working, you know, full time at my job at Howard Payne. Uh, but then also I've been working uh, after work and uh, on the weekends in order to save up to buy this bad boy right back here. Now, I absolutely love it. Like it took me no time to really figure out how to fly it and how to use 
uh, you know, how to get subtle camera movements. Now, I will tell you, I am nowhere near pro with this thing, uh, but I did, uh, I, I did put a little montage of clips together and it's been playing behind me and just, it just stopped right whenever I said, I got, okay. So, check it out. And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world So that's what I've been able to do with the drone. I just wanted to come at you with this really quick video just to talk about how you can make more purchases in the future. It takes a lot of hard work. Really, uh, photography is hard work. It really is because it is very expensive. It's an expensive hobby. And that's because the what you're using is so amazing. In order to uh, make these purchases, you have to budget correctly. You can't start photography and not have a budget because you will never have money and you'll never have new toys. So if you budget off of another job, uh, or you know, you could just have some really wealthy parents who just give you money all the time, all the more to you. I mean, if, if that is how you uh, purchase things, that's awesome. I've never had that luxury, so I had to have a second job. Well, actually, it's my first job because it's full time. I don't plan on uh, quitting my full-time job anytime soon because I don't have enough business yet to really sustain uh, me and my wife. Uh, we're also about to buy a house, so I'm about to have a new office. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, thank you guys for holding out for two months while I was working really hard. I'm still going to be taking pictures for Bruner, and I'm also going to be doing real estate, but I'm also going to try to be better about making these videos. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. Go ahead and leave me a like on this. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to. Okay, goodbye. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.